Well, we are on the Hoover Dam. To get to the parking lot, you're literally driving on the dam. How exciting is that? These winged statues up here, I noticed people rubbing their feet. I later found out it's supposed to give you good luck. Who'd guess it? Those two towers are the Arizona and Nevada Tower, where they have, um, both states have the turbines to produce the electricity. One has eight and the other has nine, I think. And we're here to take the tours. Okay. okay, we're starting our day here at the Hoover Dam. And the place is filling up fast. So we're we headed. Yeah, we got the free parking. <laughs> I like free. <laughs> of course, free doesn't mean without cost, it just means you're not paying money. You gotta walk, climb stairs. Yep, more steps. <laughs> now then, going down, now remember you got to come back up. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We can skip the trip to the gym today. <laughs> she's in one of the engineering marvels of the world, and she's fascinated with flowers. So that's oh, all right. That's so I will be fascinated with the engineering. Yeah, look at all that. These towers are not broken. They were designed that way to support the weight of the electrical cables. And there it is. We're going to be taking the damn tour. Well, the tour we're taking is both the turbine and being inside the dam to see the tunnels. From the visiting center, you get your tickets and then you wait for your turn and you're waiting in this hallway and they'll take you down the elevators to start the tour. These tunnels are the tunnels they actually cut to divert the Colorado River around the work sites. Now, this Enstock pipe can carry as much as 96,000 gallons of water per second. That's enough to fill an Olympic sized swimming pool in less than seven seconds. It's a little light right now, but you might be able to feel a little vibration on the floor. If you can, that's the water moving through the pipe vibrating the floor. Now, before they could start construction of the Hoover Dam, they had to divert the waters of the Colorado in order to do that. They built four diversion tunnels, two on each side of the canyon, each about 4,000 feet long, 56 feet in diameter, lined with three feet of concrete. It took 19 months to complete those tunnels. This is one of those tunnels that we're standing in right now. Once the tunnels were completed, they built two earthen dams. The upper copper dam was 100 feet tall. That forced the waters of the Colorado into the diversion tunnels around the work site, exiting downstream. Lower coffer dam, 65 feet tall, prevented that same water from rushing or flooding back into the work site. And once the site was ready, they could start construction of the dam. Down the tunnels again, going to see the turbines. Exciting. On behalf of the Bureau of Reclamation, I'd like to welcome you to the Nevada wing of the Hoover Dam Power Plant. That's quite a view, isn't it? Behind me is the Colorado River and the Arizona Wing. On the Nevada side, we have eight commercial generators. On the Arizona side, nine commercial generators for a total of 17 generators. Each can produce 130 megawatts for a total of 2,080 megawatts. Ladies and gentlemen, that's enough power to supply over 1.4 million homes. Each generator is 70 feet tall. You're only seeing the top 30 feet. 40 feet below the floor, you'll find the Francis type reaction turbine or water wheel. That's where the water from the pen stock pipe comes in, spins the turbine at the bottom, which then spins a 65 foot long steel shaft at 180 RPM. You might be able to see one of those shafts lit up and spinning in the top of the first generator. The shaft then spins a rotor at the top. Each one of these rotors has 40 electromagnets. Each one of those 40 magnets weighs four tons. Those magnets spin inside a stationary coil of wire located in the outer red casing of the generator. The magnets excite the electrons on that wire, producing electricity. They supply all of our in-house power, including power for the lights, the elevator, the visitor center, the entire dam. Now, looking up, spanning the top of this wing, 
you'll see two green bridge cranes. These are the original cranes. They run on tracks, the full length of this wing. The one closest to us proudly displays the American flag. The other one is located a little further down the wing. It's kind of hard to see today. Now, each of these cranes can lift up to 300 ton. To give you a visual, the Statue of Liberty in New York Harbor weighs 225 tons. That's still not enough to lift one of our rotors. One rotor weighs almost 600 tons. In order to lift that rotor, both cranes are combined to create a super crane that can lift more than 600 tons when necessary. Well, the power plant tour is finished. Now we're going on to the fun part where we're actually inside the walls of the Hoover Dam. Ooh, scary. Now we're going to go and look out a vent that is halfway up the wall and see the outside power plants. What a view. So these tunnels that we're walking in are service tunnels so that maintenance crews can get in there and uh, check and do their work. Yeah, so that's the powerhouse we were in just not too long ago. Yeah. Looking at one. <laughs> yeah, and that vent, I'm trying to find it. I don't know where that vent is. It's halfway up, you see. Maybe. Oh, right way. there. Yeah. Yeah, right in that area. There's a vent. That's yeah. what we're looking for. There's two power plants, the Arizona and Nevada. We were in the one, as we saw on the tour. If you look up, you're going to see the bridge they built about 10 years ago. So most of the traffic now goes on the bridge and not across Hoover Dam. The electrical power is not the reason the dam is here. It's about water conservation. We're on our way out, but we're still getting some last shots yeah, of Lake Mead. We've never, we've never had a very top one. Mm -hmm. Very top, I think, is where we're at. Somewhere up there, anyway. Yeah, we're Just way up look there. for a truck with a motorcycle back. <laughs> Howdy, partner. Now you come along for the ride, and you come and subscribe, and, you know, thumbs up, hit that bell.